Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday, 17 November, mid-November here. Got the NASDAQ chart up here. Uh, as you can see yesterday on the vaccine news, NASI didn't really do too, too much. Sort of just kind of blipped up a little bit to 12.061. Uh, and then then close back below the 1200 handle this looks like she's running out of steam right we didn't even get close um, to the first vaccine high and if you look at ES ES got much closer traded up to basically 39 and change 37 um, so uh, we're just a bit worried about Nazi she looks a bit tired um, looking to be short Nazi today um, things get real interesting now below 11,850. That would be bearish engulfing. Uh, let's just have to see. Let's take a look at gold. What a dick cock that was yesterday. It's not often um, that I'm 30 bucks in the money in gold and don't make money. Uh, but yesterday was one of those days. We hit the 91s uh, early in the morning. We actually added through this trend line you can see it here we added through this trend line which happened which coincided with the news at 88 uh, was not down at 61 for more than a second but did trade between 70 and 78 for a good hour here the hour at least um, and we just stuck with it we stuck with it stuck with it and then we stopped at break even so it's a shitty trade uh, didn't cost us anything, but opportunity cost was pretty big, you know. But as we were trading down here, and after you put in this bar, you just think, "Well, fuck, put in that kind of bar, we're gonna break, eventually break this 48 low." But it didn't happen. We're moving on. Gold's ball kick. Um, turns out I'm just not too good at gold. Maybe I'm too. I get too excited when I trade gold. I'm not. Uh, Maybe I traded with too much emotion. I don't know. You would never see me do that in currencies, right? You're 2% in the money, close to 2% in the money, and then uh, you give it all back. So I got to analyze that a little bit. Um, there's something about trading futures versus trading spot effects that's just slightly different. I have to turn that into something that's basically the same. Uh, but that's... Uh, that's some self-talk for me. Anyway, total doji opened where it closed. Uh, it's bullish above, let's call it 98, bearish below 61. Uh, nothing really to do here. Um, it's actually trading at 83. This is delayed, 1883 at the moment. Uh, anyway, let's look at currencies. Pretty dull day yesterday considering the news. Euro didn't really do too much. Traded up to 70, down to 16. A lot of bearish news in Europe yesterday. Hungary and Poland are going to are gonna uh, veto the budget. Um, that's not really great news. And there was some other news out there. Oh, yeah, one of the ECB guys said we care about the euro, value of the euro, which we hadn't heard from a central banker in a long, long time. None of that really mattered. Euro's back here at 1852. Um, and it looks like <clears throat> currencies in general, people are gearing up for a weaker dollar, um, which was the original sort of Biden trade. Uh, weaker dollar, weaker bonds, weaker equities um, was the trade. Basically, they devalue the dollar. They sell a shitload of bonds for stimulus, um, and then equities um, just run out of puff, and higher taxes hurt equities. Is this going to happen? I don't know. Uh, this is the line to watch, right? Some Twitter dudes reminded me of this line. It's a pretty good one, right? This is the daily line from 2011. Um, kind of defines the trend nicely 
it's, it's closer than people think, right? It's 100 points away, 119.43. Um, and you can kind of just say, shit, once we're through 119.20, this shit is on. Um, so we're not going to pre-trade this because technically there should be very strong resistance going into it as well. Um, but we will be watching that line very closely as sort of a sort of a litmus test on what the dollar is doing. Cable had a bunch of calls yesterday from people who are trading Sterling Swiss, my British buddies who are like in between London and uh, Geneva here. Um, they noticed that Sterling Swiss had gone up 4 or 5%. Sterling Swiss is going higher, so is Cable. They're going to resolve Brexit. Cable's going to go to 140. Is it going to be easy to trade? Fuck no. It's going to be very hard to trade. There's going to be lots of bad news, then some good news, then some bad news, then some good news. And then, for all we know, the good news is finally going to come out at like 1 a.m. We'll all be asleep. Uh, so I don't really know what to do with it, except for just kind of stay away from it for now. Or bob and weave, tactically trade it. 135 the figure is important not in play at all today what do we do at 132 13 we don't do anything we do nothing dollar swiss if this dollar sale thing is for real should sort of ease lower but nothing really to do at 91 27 dollar yen is screwing with a lot of people people got super bearish like me down through 104 People got super bullish on the vaccine news. People bought through 104.50, 104.70, through 105.30, and through 105.50. Now, it's sort of either, well, it's basically self sodomy. It's their own fault. If you still own dollars from up there, it's not really a great trade. People are taking a lot of pain down here. Um, where is this thing going to go? Tough to say. Right in the middle of the range. Not a lot to do. But boy, it looks like she wants to go lower. Um, but no dog in that fight. Dollars are. Same type of chart. We looked at the long side after this bar here. We were playing around with it. 70 held three different times. That's now an interesting sort of bull bear pivot 1570 but she wants to go lower god knows why this country is fucked holy shit um no hope call the pope um but anyway the macro picture will catch up with the currency eventually but not today looks like we're going to test this 1520 area she looked uh, very soggy yesterday. Dollars are could not go up very well. Um, don't really see what's on the menu that's going to change that today. Speaking of the menu, let's look at the old uh, calendar. Vols come way off, um, so we got to be careful. We don't want to get too overexcited with any of this. Oh shit, there was meetings, uh, minutes from Oz, what'd they say? They clearly didn't say too much. That must be the meetings. Oh no, that was the fix. Fix yesterday. Up to 28. Nothing to see there in Aussie. Um, what else? Core retail sales in the US. That's kind of interesting. Oh, OPEC meetings. What a waste of time that is. Massive circle jerk. Lowe is speaking again. Powell speaking again. Bailey speaking again. A lot of people speaking. Ramston. Huh. I don't know. Retail sales uh, important. OPEC's going to be barking. Uh, so if you're fucking around in oil, heads up. Retail sales is kind of the the bingo uh, release today. There will be stops in Aussie, by the way, above 73.40. Why it's up here, I have no idea. But if this dollar sale sort of trade is on, why not Aussie, right? 
good control over COVID. Um, got the surf, kangaroos, and koalas. Why not Aussie? Huh. That looks all right up through 40 there. Let's keep an eye on that. As you can see, not a lot of great levels. Dollar Cad, the middle of nowhere. Kiwi tickling the tops here, um, but not as clear. 69, 70, 69, 60 are these highs far away. Dollar Turkey, we don't care. Um, not a lot to sink our teeth into. Well, let's go to stocks. We like the short NASI trade today. We don't like the short ES as much. We have no position in ES. Uh, is this gap going to get filled? Yeah, probably. Is it going to be supported at 80? Also, yeah, probably. Is the range going to be 80-10 today? Yeah, probably. So, looks like a rangy day in general. Uh, let's wait till retail sales. Certainly, Europe looks uh, quiet. Short ZB. We sold some ZB yesterday, but then squared it. ZB should go lower. This is a this is a trade we've been beating the drum on forever. Certainly have not monetized that uh, in a proper way. It's frustrating. Uh, but short ZB looks all right as well. Anyway, I'm babbling now. We like NQs lower today. That's our sort of main theme. Um, we're gonna watch retail sales. We're going to watch the stock market and see how things go for maybe later in the week. This Euro trend line will be massively important. This will be a DXY break if we get up there. Um, but right now we're in watch mode. Patience, patience, patience. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.